Ice Flows and Foes is a dexterity game that brings back the feeling of those two pence arcade machines where you're dropping in the coin or what, what is it called? That the drop or whatever it's called, the quiz show, where you're pushing in coins and, and it seems like you should some, something that you expect should happen, but it doesn't happen. And that's because of these um, just different shaped pieces. So you think, always think pushing a, a large piece on will push something off, which is ultimately what you're trying to do, you're trying to push off hunters and boats and not push off whales or um, seals. I think they're seals. Um, so uh, as you kind of push one of these big ones on and it starts to go wrong, <laughs> that is one of the funniest moments of the game. Uh, there are a few gamery elements with the um, bits that you can push off that give you extra turns, which are really helpful. And um, the components at this stage are all pretty good. The only thing uh, for me, the reason I'm not showing you the prototype is that I was one of the last reviewers to receive this copy, so um, the board unfortunately didn't make it. Now that is because it's a very much a prototype board. Um, uh, in the final copy, you won't have that issue because it'd be a full production board. Um, however, the pieces were pretty uh, pretty finished. Uh, got the kind of um, perspexy ones and they work really well. I don't see any reason why wood wouldn't work as well, but I think I prefer the Perspect ones. They um, feel good. Um, they can be a little hard to see on some surfaces, but they do have a blue tint to them. And it looks quite cool kind of having the pictures on them in, in that way. So there's not an awful lot to say on your turn. Apart from the first turn, the first person pushes two of the uh, ice flows on. And, and then from then on, it's pushing on three. You're trying to push off boats uh, and hunters and keep seals and whales on the board. And that choice really comes down to uh, having to do three is quite, at first I thought, well, that'd be dead easy. But actually, you might push your first one on and then create a massive space. And then you're like, well, do I fill that? Or do I just do small ones to try and leave that for the next person? So when it comes round to me, and you can have um, things teetering on the edge for a surprising amount of turns. And sometimes there'll be situations where you know it's going to work if you push something in in a certain direction, especially the bigger pieces. But often I find myself reaching for not to the biggest pieces because they could just cause so much chaos and lose me points. Suffice to say, my uh, boy who's 11 really likes this one. I just think it's great to have a game that kind of mimics that um, feeling of, of dropping your 2p in those machines and just hoping that you you get everything falling off that you want, um, all those other 2p's which you then stick back in the machine. And uh, this replicates that feeling in a way that couldn't be done otherwise because, I mean, you could have a game with loads of 2Ps or counters in, but it would just be ridiculous. So uh, so I, I think it's great for what it is. I think a family dexterity game that adds some small gamery elements in about, you know, just prioritising what you want and making uh, good decisions with a bit of randomness makes for a winner. The Kickstarter details are below in the descriptions, so do check that out. Thanks for watching Pads and Pawns. We have uh, Twitch, Facebook and Instagram plat on, the, on those platforms as well. So do look for Pads and Pawns on those and we will see you again soon.